Good morning guys, it's me again. Um, I don't know what day it is, but I'm still at the RTR. You can see all those wave, those little white spots. That's it back there. Hike With Me has brought me out and is uh, teaching me some of the plant life. That's what I'm interested in. And guess what? It's my teddy bear cactus. I don't think he's much of a teddy bear. I'm gonna try to get close enough if I fall into him. Just go ahead and shoot me somebody. Look at them barbs on there. I've learned that these are also called um, jumping cactuses. And look at the guys on their bikes. How fun. They're going up in the mountains on their, uh, on their bikes, riding up there, a lot of ATVs and stuff. But why are they called jumping cactuses? Because those little they're just scattered all around the cactus and they fall off they blow across the desert and then they take root and apparently they're called jumping cactuses because if you get too close they'll catch on with their barbs anyway we're going to go looking for some cool plant life, but I found my teddy bear cactus. You hear what happened, guys? Hike with me. Just barely got close to that thing, and he jumped on her. And look, you can't get rid and of it. And you can't get them off. They're just, you, you get them, get them in rock. your skin. Yeah, don't ever touch them with your hands to okay. get them off. You get a rock, or I use, a, I always have a hair pick if I can't get them off with a rock. Oh, and she's still got barbs in her, in her shoe. And yeah. these things, they, they barb. If they go in the skin, you can't pull them off. I just saw something on here I wanted to show y'all. I'm going to get up close. From a distance, it doesn't look like, uh, what are these types of plants called? But it doesn't look like a cact, a succulent. It just looks all fuzzy. And then you get real close and you can see how it is a succulent. Well, obviously it's a succulent. It's in the garden, uh, the desert, right? Not in my garden. Anyway, well, we're going to head up Well, the guys, Hike was walking along and something jumped out and got her. Good old jumping cactus. Hey guys, um, Hike with me is probably wanting to go in further and I keep stopping her every 10 feet. But we found a saguaro that just fell over and... I said, well, what are those? Are those like the water straws, whatever? She said, those are the ribs of the saguaro. But what really is fascinating, um, she said once they totally decay, that people make walking sticks out of those, that they become very hard and solid. You can make walking sticks. And then she showed me like, I don't know if We'll find another one, but like how it scabs, and um, I'll have to bring it up later. But anyway, interesting. Uh, sure wish the rest of you were out here with somebody knowledgeable. And by the way, that thing I showed you in my last video probably was not fire. Could have been, but it's probably decay. Anyway, we're going further up hey, the I'm back. Here. Uh, she just told me that you go into a lot of the homes, they'll take the saguaro ribs and use them on the ceilings um, in their homes. Uh, just amazing. Just amazing. Sorry guys, I flicked it on, but I want to show you. Um, Hike With Me is showing me that, uh, see that hole up there? Some kind of an animal probably made it and probably has a nest in there you say maybe at some time i don't think now but it's you can see how it heals itself and it heals itself and then on the inside when we find one she'll show us it's called a boot but it looks like it's small one that she showed me looks like it's really small here but we found one on a dying cactus and it was probably back down at least a foot long where that area went in but we're going to keep looking. Excited. Look, look, look. It's a barrel cactus. No. It's a baby Sararo. And there's a couple more around here. Isn't he a cute little fella? 
Here is a hundred year old saguaro right behind the baby. It might be looking, overlooking and protecting him. But look at all those arms up there. Hike said that is a very healthy one. It's a little beat up down at the base, but look how healthy it is. Another thing, I'm gonna whip around so let's all get dizzy together. Another thing she pointed out to me, and see that baby saguaro? She said earlier they're usually by a bigger tree. Is that correct? They grow that, under, yeah. That kind of protects it as it grows. It just kind of watches over and it protects it. Interesting, interesting. Looky here we found another little baby saguaro. Look how sweet he is in there. I would go in, but... Here's his big protective tree with those big long spikes. So if you can't see that baby, well, I'm not going in to show you.